Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Talk TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. And if you guys have been here before, then welcome back. And I know, I feel like every time I said to do a video, I'm probably the same clothes or similar clothes. And I swear I change clothes. It's not like I wear the same thing every day. But I think the days I wind up filming, I'm in like a certain type of pajamas. So it feels like I'm always wearing the same thing. Like I started out this channel sometimes like, you know, with a little bit of makeup on and stuff like that but um as the months went on um i know i haven't been able to upload every week like i used to uh, ever since this whole covid situation began um i don't want to get too much into it you guys don't need to hear all that um but do know that i still do enjoy making videos and i will try to get one out as soon as i get the chance to sit and film but uh, enough rambling we're going to be talking about handbags again I gotta ask you guys, like, you know, on my video, my channels never started, well, they actually started with handbags, but I never meant it to go in just that direction where I'm just talking handbags. I love handbags, like, don't get me wrong, but I wanted to talk about other stuff too, maybe do other things, maybe a cooking video or something. But what do you guys like to see? Like, those of you that are always watching or that do watch me, um, let me know if you guys are interested in other things and if it's something that you know, I can do, um, and I can help you with, I'd be more than happy to make a video on it. But today, oh, what is that? Today we're talking about Mark and Graham. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about this company. I, I did it. Um, I just kind of like stumbled upon them and I think they have like an affiliation with Pottery Barn. I think, I'm not sure. Um, but, um, I'll leave the link down below. Now, um, I have a couple of things from the brand. Uh, one of the first things I want to share with you guys is this little pouch that I got from them. It is in suede and they have a couple of colors. I will link anything I talk about down below. And I got it monogrammed. It is the softest suede ever and the lining guys like bam it's orange. Um, This would probably fit your standard like iPad mini maybe. Um, I know for sure it'll fit the Kindle 7. Um, The 8 it, it might just fit the 8. I got this to put my Kindle in because I don't like the fact that the case, um, the folio case that you guys can get on Amazon, like it's a little bulky and it irks me. Um, so I felt like, you know, it'll be pretty protected in this. Plus I have a screen protector on it and I don't bang my stuff around. This isn't one of those like slouchy pouches. It looks like a pouch that's made to like hold tech. Like a tablet case so to speak because of the way it's been reinforced like it's not going to pull in on itself so that's one of the first things i got um the second thing i got i know you guys saw that i had a bag in my life and i just laid it off but i want to get to that bag later this is called the brooklyn i think it's called like a brooklyn satchel i'll link it down below i'm sorry if i got the name wrong but um i don't want to say i don't like this bag it looked amazing online, no doubt, and for the price point, I guess I just expected more. First off, um, the leather, do you see, like, it's over pebbled here, it's not here. Like, I know it's going to be irregular, that's the beauty of leather, but it's, like, to me, it feels really dry, and I don't want to say cheap, but I feel like you can knock off this bag at, like, Walmart or Target. Um... I have to say, not not really pleased with this too much, but I've used it for a couple of weeks and I will say it holds everything I need for work. It's a workhorse, like it'll hold up. It's just, I don't know, I expected better, I guess. Um, it doesn't have any feet. It's a pretty like, it's a pretty big bag. Like it can be deceiving. The dimensions um, on the site, I feel like aren't accurate only because According to those dimensions, I got like a bag organizer to fit this bag and it doesn't fit. Um, it might be the shape of the bag. I don't know. It also has like a side pocket here, which like it's not a separate. Well, yeah, it is a separate pocket. But obviously, if you try to fill every, a lot of stuff in this, you're going to start eating away the capacity of what you can fill in here. The handles, um, you can actually adjust the height of the handle drop. You can probably interchange these handles with something else. Um, you can actually buy your own, like, customized shoulder strap and handles. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, they co this bag comes in, like, a regular tan color as well. Um, but I just thought, like, the color combo would look cool. 
Um, it's lined really nicely. And I appreciate a light colored lining because you don't want a black bag with black lining and then you're looking in like a bottomless pit. I wish the back zipper had like leather around it, like framing it. But there is a back zipper pocket. It's basically enough to hold a pad. Um, there are two slip pockets in the... No, I lie. It's only one slip pocket in the front. Um, I don't think... No, my cell phone won't stay in there properly because with the weight it just topples over. But it is one slip pocket. And this is what um, the shoulder strap looks like. Now, I have this set on the shortest length. And when I wear this on my shoulder, the bag hits me below the hip. Um, and I'm about 5'6". So it's the, the strap is still pretty long. Um, and that's partially also because, and mind you, the strap is on the shortest setting. When you put the strap on the bag, it tends to slouch like this. Um, which isn't a problem, but it winds up sitting way too long on me. So I just wind up carrying the bag this way. I'll always have the strap on there because, you know, when you're in a pinch, you want to just get it out of your hands. But I usually wind up carrying the bag like this. Now, do I hate this bag? No. It's held up in all sorts of weather. I just feel like maybe... I don't know, maybe the leather's too dry? I just felt like for the price of what you, like, what, for the price that you pay for this, that the bag would just, I don't know, maybe look better or feel better. Um, I don't want to say that I'm, like, completely disappointed, but, you know when you open a package and you're excited to use something? For me, this was like, eh, okay. Like, um, a few videos ago, when I was talking about, um, the tote from Leatherology. And look at that. Actually, it's kind of funny because these kind of match exactly. This is suede. So this is also... I'm sorry if I'm playing with my earrings right now. I feel like something's stuck in my hair and it's getting pulled. Um, this bag is... Um, I think my earring just opened. Is that it? Is that what's bugging me? There we go. So this bag is also pebbled. But do you see the shine on that? Like, do you see that? I haven't conditioned it. I haven't done anything. And it's so soft. Like, if you guys are still wondering about getting one of the zipper totes from Leatherology, I know they're plain. It looks like it won't hold a lot. Trust me. Everything that I've ever carried with me in any of my what's in my bags, I've carried in this without a problem. Um, I've already done a review on this bag. It comes with, like, an extra pouch and everything. Um, but if you guys are still wondering about this bag, get it. And if you guys want this color, get it soon, because I won't be surprised if they sell out. But guys, like, oh, it's such a smushy bag. And honestly, this bag was cheaper than this one. Much cheaper than this one. So it's like, I just wish the leather felt the same. Like, they're both shiny. It's just, this one feels, you know, like how the old school Mark Jacobs bags used to be, like before they changed the leather, like the old school ones that still would have the black and white like graffiti lining in it like those bags used to be like smushy that's what this leather reminds me of this one's dry so just it's not that i'm not happy with it i'm just i expected more so i can probably be like i guess i'm a little disappointed um like it's a nice bag but i'll say like i've had better um i've had better bags than that just putting this back in the litter on the G. This bag. Alright, so the other bag that I have um, from Mark and Graham is unique. And the reason I say that is I have a really big soft spot for camo. I don't know why. <laughs> um, and it doesn't have to be like the green camo. It can be gray, it gray, it can be white, it can be blue. Um any sort of like colorway with camo print i don't know why i really like it and i also feel like it can go on anything but like it's really rare to find a camo bag done in leather i've seen camo print done with cotton i've seen it done with neoprene but to get it in leather guys like seriously look at this and do you see that sheen on that bag this bag is just as soft as the bag from Leatherology and I think that's because this is actually calfskin leather um on their site like literally to the touch it's like the softest thing ever this is called the, Sl the Elizabeth slouch bag I'll leave it linked down below there's a couple of options with this one 
So with the camo, you come it comes in gray and white, and they both come in this um pebbled like half leather. And you can get a couple of other colors that come in like the unfinished leather or pebbled leather. And then they also do it in um suede. And they have um the option with uh the bamboo handles instead of the regular leather handles. Mind you, that's like a hundred dollars more. And you know the material that they make the Chanel DeVille tote in? It's kind of like that... I don't know what they call that. I don't want to say like it's... um, uh, That word's like escaped me. Like It's not like towel material. Like I, I don't know why I can't think of the word right now. But um, it's like a type of cloth. Like you can get the same bag in that material as well. Um, but I opted... For the camo print with the calfskin leather, I don't think I have a bag in calfskin. I have a Balenciaga that's in like goatskin, which is like really sturdy and really not stiff, but in like a good way. It's structured, um, so it's not like super floppy. But I don't think I have anything in calfskin. But um, this like it's so soft. The bag actually does have four feet. You can barely see them. But there's one, two, three, four. What is that? I think I scratched the back. No. Alright. Um, I've only had this for about two days. And off the bat, I love it. The only thing I feel a little irked about is that there's no way to close the bag. There's no buttons. There's no snap. There's no zipper. Um, I was actually wondering if I could carry this like on board with me. Because I, um, even though my trip is delayed, I'm still going because it's for work. And I'm still trying to figure out what bag to carry online as my carry-on. Online? On board. As my carry-on. Even though I have the Dagny Dover satchel, which I've packed and I've showed you guys. Um, the amount of stuff that I'm going to be carrying with me has changed since. So I'm still trying to figure out what to carry. Otherwise, this bag is pretty comparable to um, the... Longchamp, I think this is like the medium size, and this is their leather line. Um, the bag organizer I originally got for the Brooklyn bag that didn't fit, I have it in this bag, and everything I want to carry on board does fit in here. So I'm thinking of carrying this. Or do you guys think it would be safe though to carry something without a closed like closure? It's an open bag, and I don't plan on putting this like in the overhead compartment. This is gonna stay by my feet. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I would feel this bag is a bit sturdier than that one because the leather's a little thinner, a little bit more delicate. So, if you guys can help me out and let me know which option you think is better. And this or this, let me know. This bag, though, can definitely pack a punch. Um, it has a zipper pocket in the back. You can probably see this tab right here. So, the zipper pocket is literally almost the length of the bag. Again, I wish it was a leather tab around it, but there isn't. There is a little Morgan Graham leather tab here. That's how big the zipper pocket is, and it runs the whole length of the bag. It goes all the way down. Then in the middle, there's a pocket that divides both sides. I usually put my like wallet and stuff in there, and I zip it up so I know nobody can get to it that easily. And on this side, this bag actually has two slip pockets. And you can tell because I have stuff in them. The bag's depth actually runs about 8 inches, and I would probably say a bit more than that, so it holds everything. Um, and I think height-wise, it's probably about 10 and a half to 11. I'll leave it linked down below. You guys are going to have all the dimensions there. But look at this beauty. Um, I have all of my stuff in here. I don't know how to show you, but there you go. All my stuff is in there. Um... The only other thing I have left to show you guys is this little accessory. How cute is this? Um, it's a little pouch. You know, I have a thing with pouches. This comes in only two colorways. It comes in the orchid, I think, which is what they call this. It's like a pinky purple. And they have this, I think, in blue. If I'm not mistaken, with the blue, you get the white zipper and green or maybe yellow. With this one, even though this is coming off red, this is actually orange. So, oop, the top zip opens that way. The small second zip opens that way. Now, in top, I mean, they're lined properly. So, on top, I have, like, charger cables. And then down here, 
I have like a mirror and blotting sheets. Um, you can use this for anything. Like I have enough space in my bag to actually put the stuff in the bag and not have to carry this. I would actually probably carry like pens in here or like feminine products so you guys don't have to carry a whole bag to the bathroom. You can be discreet and just carry this. I don't think this would work as a makeup bag because it's too thin. Like it's a very thin, it doesn't have a lot of depth and I don't think it would be able to hold that much. If you're a minimalistic person, it'll probably hold like a compact and maybe like lip liner, lipstick. I use it for cables to keep everything separated. <clears throat> or even for like pencils, pens, pencils. I think it's adorable. I don't know if you guys can get this monogram. I don't know if that option is available. But anything that you guys decide to purchase, um, if it says you can personalize it, then obviously you can. This would be pretty cool if you could have gotten something done here. Um, I don't know what type of leather this is, but it's smooth. Um, yeah, there's no pebbling on it. It's very smooth. It's got a nice feel to it. It's, it's soft, just like the uh, Leatherology tote is. But, um, yep, yeah, that's basically it uh, from Mark and Graham. Again, I will leave them uh, linked down below. I haven't heard of that company before, but um, I'm always learning new stuff. Uh, I came across them, actually, I think by accident. Um, so if I were you, I'd probably pass on the Brooklyn bag and get this. I think it's just more quality for your money. It's like they're both in the same price range almost. But I think you guys might like this better. They also have options where you can create your own bag, you can create your own tote, you can create your own like hobo. Um, they have different types of leather um, available. If you guys don't like this type of leather, you want to go, you know, the suede route, you guys can do that. Um, both bags are available in suede as well. And yeah, I think, I think I've covered everything. Um, I think my next video is probably going to be another company that I haven't heard of. It's a local company. Um, that I was able to get a couple of things from, so I'm excited about that. And, um, I was a bit inspired, I'll tell you honestly, I was a bit inspired by, I forgot her name, but her YouTube channel was called, like, The Perfect Leather Bag, I think. So I'll link her down below. Got cut off there for a second, I'm sorry. Um, where was I going with this? Huh, I was talking about, uh, the YouTube channel. Um... I think it's called the perfect leather bag. Like she's amazing. I'm so sorry. I don't remember her name, but I will link her channel down below. Um, I was inspired by her, um, video on, it's like a tote come backpack from, um, urban Southern. Um, so hopefully that stuff will be coming in by this week and there's stuff coming in from a brand called the whipping post. I think, um, I've always been a leather handbag girl. I can't like justify coated cotton or canvas or something. I mean, of course, barring my speedy, but um, I've always been a leather girl. So I'll have those videos for you soon. Other than that, if you guys have any questions, any requests, anything, um, please do reach out to me by leaving a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, as soon as I can, not you. Oh my god, I think I need sleep. But yeah, please do uh, reach out to me down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I will always have my blog link down below as well. Um, haven't had any new posts on there as yet. Uh, hopefully I can get to doing something pretty creative um, as soon as we get out of this situation. Um, please guys, don't go out if you don't have to. Stay safe and I will see you in my next video.